Hello everyone and welcome back to Gaming on Linux Guide. So today what we're going to be installing is Baldur's Gate 3, the hit new RPG by Larian Studios. So to get it first to install like I'm doing now, you're going to want to go to properties because if you install it just the first time, um, it may not want to listen and it'll just have like a grayed out play button and then it'll be like play on Windows or Mac. But we don't want that. We just wanted to download the Windows version. So you would be clicking the force, the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool, which I already did. And of course, you're going to want to select Proton 5.0-9 for now. Then you're just going to let it download. Uh, this may have to re-download it. And I'm sorry to anyone who has a slower internet connection. Uh, but I will come back and explain to you in just a second as soon as it's done downloading. Test, test, test. Then it might crash for you. That might be because you've been tinkering with it for a little bit. Um, and even if you reinstall it, it may not work right away. So you go to Properties, Updates, and then you got to turn off Steam Cloud. Because it may be downloading the same files constantly that could be causing a problem. So once you uncheck that, you got to make sure it's not checked. I've already done that. Then you've got to go to your file manager. You've got to go into your Steam folder, Steam. Then you've got to go into Steam, whoops, Steam apps, Compact Data. And then you want to delete the one for the app ID of Baldur's Gate. So one easy way to find out the app ID is just to go back compatibility tools, and then our custom Proton, Proton fixes, game fixes, and I know it's in the 10,000 range. I think it's this one. Uh, open with, and then your notepad or text editor. Yes, here it is. It's right here. So I know that the number is uh, 10086940. So then you go back to Steam Apps, Compact Data, and I've already deleted it, but you would normally just delete it right here. And then when you open it again, it should um, download the right files this time. And if it doesn't, I found that reinstalling can help. And then all you got to do is... First off, you've got to make sure that your screen is set up right. So I like to set this one as my primary screen. A little bit. This isn't necessary, but if you want it on a particular screen, then I like that. And that's really an MX Linux feature. So your mileage may vary depending upon your distro. Then it will just sit there and say preparing for a little bit. Uh, the custom fix for uh, the Baldur's Gate 3 under Glorious Egg Roll will ask you if you want to use Vulkan. Um, I'm able to say yes because of my graphics card. And most people with a NVIDIA GPU will want to say yes. But there are some you know, cases out there that you might want to say no. They're few and far between, but they are out there. So you want to be careful. And the game, whoops, might crash on you. Oh, it's not crashed. Excuse me. It didn't crash. It just minimized. I've not had that happen before, but hey, this is a learning video, and even I'm learning too. So then it'll load, and you get to see all of Larian's absolutely beautiful art. And we get to see the Githyanki, a race not often seen. Now, I personally have a 1080. And I would say that it's a good idea to set it to high, the preset. Just because it is it gives you better FPS. 
and then you got to create a profile and I'm gadget guy so I will put in gadget guy accept and then you got to select it accept new game it'll load up again but this time into the character creation tool which may take a little bit and I'm gonna skip this cutscene so you can enjoy it yourself and I don't want any sp story spoilers turn that down a little bit because that's really loud unfortunately you know just like in uh, or original sins divinity original sins 2 there are going to be the origin characters like the ones you saw on the loading screen that you can pick from to get those extra quests and background but for right now it only accepts custom characters and we're going to pick a background charlatan just like in D D. Tanner, folk hero uh let's see what do i feel like being i like athletic survival arcana history these are all like the some of the skills that you can have like stealth is sneaking around sleight of hand is like trickery etc i feel like probably being a rogue so i think an urchin might help that and a race uh let's see who has really great Ooh, i didn't realize they had minor they have a cantrip starting off Oh, but there are also sub races. That's right. Wood Elf. High Elf. Because Wood Elf is really good at blending in. They, they get bonus stealth, I think. Yeah, they do. They get bonus stealth. So I'm going to pick someone who's really, really good at running around and being stealthy. So I might just actually pick Fey Ancestry. Hmm. Oh, they've even got dark vision. So I'm gonna pick them. Let me see in the dark. Pick that one. Let's see. I'll, see, look, the graphics are actually really amazing. I personally really enjoy them. Uh, and you'll see that you sort of have like some texture pop in. Mm. I don't know, I kind of like that one. I kind of don't want to be green, but orange. Seems very like an autumnal wood elf. I like it. And some dark bluish eyes. Maybe I can see elf blue. That one's pretty good. Uh, class, I want to be a rogue. But. If you want to be one of the more magical classes, you can pick like a domain. Uh, for Warlock, it's like the, the god you pray to. But um, you can also choose just some deities and stuff like that for the cleric. But I want to be a rogue. There's really no subclass for the rogue right now until we get to like level three where we can uh, spec up into a new class. Like a prestige class, yeah, but for so I'm gonna pick rogue. Oh, this is new. I don't remember this part. Maybe, yeah, I think maybe I'm gonna make it so that I don't know. Tattoos. What kind of tattoo can I give her? Is it face tattoos? Uh huh. Oh, that one's pretty good. I don't know, the drow are always pretty despondent due to living in the Underdark. So I'm, I think I'm going to give, I think, maybe some brown hair. I don't know, that looks better, in my opinion. Skin, face, voice, appearance. So my half-elf likes drow, apparently. Once again, going to skip so that it doesn't spoil. Because I just want to show you that it works. Because I know some people's fixes are crashing after character creation. But it doesn't look like that will happen. Where am I? Oh, here I am. Alright, let's get on to the road.
Looks like things were loading there. Oh, it's auto saving. So I've got mouse click. Move away from my character with the WASD keys. How do I get back? Okay, I just click the portrait down there. What's restoration do? That's good. I'm glad. All right, let's see. What's in here? This weird fleshy thing that I've got. How do I control the camera? Uh, let's see. Middle mouse. And with mouse to rotate. Okay, so if I hold middle mouse. I don't think my middle mouse works, honestly. <laughs> I need to get a new mouse. Devilkin? Was that tieflings? Oh, brain, brain in a jar. Yeah, this is crazy looking. But, yep, that... Oh, it's a, like a living ship in the world. No, those don't look like tieflings. Those look like devils. Can I... What does this do? Pin down. I can shove. Okay, knock unconscious. We're prone down... What is this? Dash. Jump. How far can I jump? Can I can I jump across this gap over here? I think that's what it wants me to do, actually. And did I just set myself on fire? I did. Okay, I'm going to jump across this gap. Whoosh! There I go. Alrighty, let's keep going across this weird fleshy ship. It's sure something. i got to say the graphics are amazing, but I don't know if I like that in this case. But anyway, that has been getting Baldur's Gate 3 to run. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe as it really helps the channel. And I hope you have a wonderful day.